A transgendered woman says she is the victim of a hate crime. Just days after organizing a pride event in New Hampshire, she found a vulgar voodoo doll on her car outside her home. New at 11, she tells our Christina Rex she believes she was targeted because of her identity. Here's where the legs were, and then the arms, and then the head. It was a discovery that shocked Polana Hunt Hawkins at her own home. It was really jarring. A clay doll stuck on her windshield with breasts and male private parts. A targeted attack she feels on her identity as a transgender woman. What they depicted was so specifically just grotesque and targeted at my gender. She discovered the small doll on her car Monday night as it sat right in her driveway of the Rochester home she moved to less than a month ago. And just to see that, you know, it's just so intimate and out there and to think that very likely somebody came onto my property and did that. Lana immediately called Rochester police. They responded to her home, took pictures and collected the doll. But the police tell WBZ they then disposed of the doll and they're not investigating any further. It feels like a very intentional personal, uh, you know, uh, attack and, you know, that's unfortunate that they're not looking in, in, into it any further. Lana feels strongly she's being targeted because of her presence as an outspoken LGBTQ plus activist. As recently as this weekend, she planned a pride event in the city, but now she's considering a step back. You know, should I accept speaking invites for an in-person event? Just realizing that I feel like I have to keep like a lower profile. Lana has no idea who may have done this. She feels safe around her new welcoming neighbors, but she's already purchased cameras for her house to keep a close watch for the future. Unfortunately, I want every angle. I want to make sure that I know what's going on because, yeah, it's just very, just disheartening. In Rochester, New Hampshire, Christina Rex, WBZ News.